I'm about to reveal to everyone the truth about starting a vending machine business because after owning a gumbo machine, it's not what you might expect. Let me explain. So me and my friend saw a gumbo machine at a garage sale and bought it for $80. There are three things that we didn't know that we wish we knew when we were first starting this business. Now getting straight into the video, the first thing that we wish we knew when we were starting this business is that getting candy and food can be expensive. They're literally hidden costs. So we went out to Bulk Barn and we bought a bunch of candy there in bulk and it all somehow went up to be $40. That's literally half of how much your actual gumbo machine costs. So what to always remember is to do your research, find the cheapest possible options and make sure you buy the candy in bulk. This could even mean ordering the candy online and waiting a few days for it to arrive at your door. This next step that I'm about to share is the most important step out of all of them. So make sure to listen carefully. So the second step is the location. When I was first starting out, I already knew that the location was everything. If no one goes to that location, how was anyone going to buy from you? For example, if you set it up in a mall or a very busy place, you're going to earn a lot more money because more people will see your machine and more people can actually buy from it. But this is where I messed up the most. I knew that the location was the most important part and I knew that getting a location to say yes was going to be hard, but I didn't think it would be that hard. We called all the local stores near us, big stores, little stores, any stores. We really needed to make this work. We actually came close to setting it up in a Kumon, but then they just ghosted us. So this is when we had to go to our last resort. So our friend's mom has a little haircut salon in her house and she gets quite a bit of customers. So we agreed to set it up in her home barbershop and we would pay her 10% of our total earnings. After wheeling the gumbo machine into the salon, filling the candy up and getting everything sorted out, in two months we made about $14.75, which is about 25 cents every single day, which is not that bad. If we kept that gumbo machine there for a whole year and kept earning 25 cents per day, we would have earned $91 in a year. But imagine we didn't have that last resort and all the stores just rejected us and we had no place to go. So this is a huge thing to keep in mind. Now moving on to our last point here, this one is also as equally important and is the actual machine. Make sure to inspect the machine and make sure everything is working. With ours, everything was working at first, but then the lock stopped working, which was very unfortunate. When inspecting it, make sure to check that all the money slots are working and make sure to check that the locks are working and the gumbo machine is in pretty good condition. But keep in mind that you could always buy the gumbo machine online, but you will end up paying a little bit more rather than just buying it from like a garage sale or Facebook marketplace. Since this video is just so important and you guys made it this far, I'm adding one more bonus point for you guys. And the bonus point is calculating. Make sure to calculate all the costs because you can actually be losing money when you sell the candy if you don't buy it for cheap. We calculated that in two months after buying the gumbo machine, buying all the candy, right now we're sitting at about negative $105 which is not a good sign. Obviously, if we kept the gumbo machine in the barbershop for a whole year and earned our usual 25 cents, we would only be down $29, which is why it's so important to calculate your costs because you never know when you guys might start earning profit. These are all very important things to consider when starting your own vending machine business or gumbo machine business because I wish I knew all of this sooner. On that note, I hope you guys learned a lot and make sure to subscribe because on this channel, we talk all about money and getting financially free. So make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you everyone in the next video. Bye guys.